Hi there. This is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to determine the width of your parabola. So let's say that you're given some parabola of the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And you're also told that it's defined on some interval, let's say, how about from 1 to 3. And you want to know what the width of it is. Well, the width of the parabola is simply the width of the interval from which it's defined. So it doesn't even matter what the, co what the coefficients are. We simply take one endpoint of our domain, subtract the other, and we get that the width is 2. However, a much more interesting question is the relative width. If we assume that a standard parabola is given by f of x equals x squared, which looks something like this, a natural question to ask is, if we change our leading coefficient by some amount, how will that affect the apparent wideness of our parabola? So let's say we have f of x equals 2x squared. So we are doubling our leading coefficient. It may seem counterintuitive, but that actually makes the parabola narrower. There's an inverse relationship between the leading coefficient and the apparent width of the parabola. Contrast this with f of x equals 1 half x squared. Well, again, there's an inverse relationship. So we take our standard parabola and we stretch it outwards. And that's all there is to it. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to determine the width of a parabola.